Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to back up your Nintendo 3DS games, and then I'll be showing you how to play them from the 3DS home screen. Now, I know some of you who already have your 3DS games on your PC, so I'm going to have future Jeremy leave a timestamp in the description below, that way you can just skip ahead to the part that you need. But let's just jump straight into this. So to start things off, let's head over to our 3DS. Okay, so to kick things off, we're going to grab our game of choice here. For me, that's Zelda A Link Between Worlds. And uh, we're just going to pop that into the 3DS here. After that's in, all we're going to do is hold the start button and then tap the power button. And just keep that start button held until God Mode 9 opens. Now, this part's actually really simple. It's going to be a quick and easy video. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see an option for Game Cart here on the top half of the screen. Uh, if you press the A button on Game Cart, it's going to take a second to load. So just give it a moment. You're going to see uh, a bunch of files here, but the one that we really need is the one that says trim.3ds. So I'm going to highlight that and select it. And now down below, we have a bunch of options that we can do with this. So we can go down to the bottom and we're going to see copy to GM9 out. So if we do this, we'll actually be able to use this 3ds file in an emulator. So I am going to do this first. I'm going to hit A and we're just going to let this transfer. This is probably going to take around maybe five minutes. So I will see you in a few. Okay, and once it's done, it's just going to tell you that it's copied to the GM9 out folder. Just hit A to continue. And what we're going to do again is hit A on trim.3ds once more. And now we're going to go into NCSD image options. So if I click that, you can see that if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll have this option for build CIA from file, or we can just install the game image. So if we're just installing this to our main menu here, I'm just going to do this. But it is good to know that you can also build CIA files using this. So I'm going to press A on install game image. And uh, we're going to press A because it's telling us that the SysNAN is locked. You're going to input this key combination here. And after you input that key combination, we're just going to give this a second to back up. This is probably going to take uh, maybe another five minutes, so I'll see you soon. Okay, once that's all done, we can go ahead and just check this out in the main menu. So I'm going to hit A to continue. It's going to ask you, write permissions were changed. Relock them. Hit A to continue. And now I'm just going to hit the home button and then go to reboot system. And just give this a second to reboot. Now that we're on, the first thing that you're going to see is a pop-up that says new software has been added to the home menu. Press OK to continue. It's going to take you right to it and ask you to unwrap it. And once you do, you're going to see we have a Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Now this is pretty cool, but we're not done yet. So let's take the SD card out and head back over to the PC real fast. All right, now that we have the SD card open, the first thing that we're going to do is navigate into the GM9 folder, go into the out folder, and you're going to see we have this weird number file, but it ends in trim.3ds. This is actually our game, so I'm just going to rename this to uh, Zelda A Link Between Worlds. And then I'm just going to throw this on the desktop because I want this here for maybe use with an emulator like Citra down in the corner. So just give this a second to transfer. Now that the game's all backed up to your PC, I will say one more thing. This isn't an emulator video, but if you are planning on using Citra, for example, let me just show you. If I open this up and drag the game in, you're going to notice that it says your ROM is encrypted. So you have to decrypt it in order to play this. It's super simple to do. And there's a program that you can have here. And I'll leave a link in the description below. You just hit download right here and extract the program. I already have mine extracted right here. But if I open it up, all you have to do is toss your game in, click on Batch CIA 3DS Decryptor. This will decrypt your game in maybe a minute, sometimes less. So uh, let's just give this a second. Yeah, actually, it, it took way less. So let's just exit out of this. And you're going to see we have two games now. We have our 3DS game and then the decrypted 3DS. So just for example, again, I'm going to open up Citra. Now I'm going to toss in the decrypted version. And boom, now it works and you can play your game on PC as well. But moving on, now the last thing that I'm going to show you while I'm here, let me just exit out of this, is what if you already had your games backed up to your PC, right? So you have your .3DS games and you want to install them to your 3DS. Well, first you need to convert them into a .CIA file. And I can show you how to do that using your 3DS. It's actually pretty simple. So back to this GM9 folder that we were just in. We're going to go to the in folder instead of the out folder, and we're going to toss in a game. You can see down here in the corner, I have Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS already backed up, so I'm just going to toss that right there. 
and let this transfer, just give this one second. And now that this is done, we can just take the SD card out and head back over to the 3DS and we'll start wrapping this thing up. Now, once again, this is pretty simple. With your 3DS off, you're gonna hold the start button, tap the power button and keep holding start. This will start up God Mode 9. Now from here, we're gonna hit the home button, go into scripts, go into GM9 Megascript. We're gonna go into miscellaneous. And you're gonna see an option here for .3DS to CIA converter. We're just gonna hit A on that. And here's our game, Zelda Orcarina of Time 3DS. So I'm just gonna press A. And it's gonna tell you, uh, make sure you have enough space for this. So press A again. I'd recommend that if you're doing this to have at least a 16 gigabyte card or higher because uh, most of these games are about four gigabytes or less. It's gonna pretty much transfer into a CIA file and says here it's gonna take a couple minutes. So I'll be right back. All right, so now we're all finished up with the conversion. All we have to do is just hit A to continue. And once we do that, we're pretty much all set. We're just gonna hit B, B again, and then I'm gonna hit the home menu and reboot system. This will take us back to the main menu because now we need to install this CIA file. So once we're on here, we're gonna navigate over into FBI, open that up. From here, we're gonna go to our SD. We're gonna go into GM9. And this is gonna be in our GM9 out folder. So if we look, we're gonna see our Zelda Orcarina of Time 3DS. It's gonna say .standard.caa. That's how you'll know uh, what game it was that you just put on. So I'm gonna hit A on this. And I'm gonna do install and delete CIA. You don't have to delete it. If you wanna save it to your computer, you can, but I'm just gonna do install and delete. Press A to continue or just tap yes and just let this install. So once again, I mean, the hardest part about all this is just the install time on, on waiting everything. Most of this is done through GM9, so uh, it, it's honestly just really easy, just a little time consuming. So yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Install finished, so let's just hit okay. And now I'm gonna hit the home button and we should get a pop-up here in a second. New software has been added to the home menu. Press okay. It's gonna tell you to unwrap it. And here we are. So I still have the cartridge in. I'm just gonna take that out here. And you can see I still have Zelda Link Between Worlds and Orcarina of Time. So I'm just gonna open Orcarina of Time just to prove to you guys that this does work. And uh, I'll start saying my goodbyes right after that. And there it is. All right, so I think I'm gonna start wrapping the video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. And if you guys run into any problems, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Feel free to join the Discord. We'll probably notice your comments a little quicker if you join there. But uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.